Hello everyone, welcome back to the LightBeans e-commerce tutorial. Today I will present an actual unit, fixed database. As I mentioned at the end of unit 7, I said our database, our data model has nothing wrong. However, if you want to use the provided snapshot in the future through this tutorial, you have to make your database exactly match the database that the snapshot use. So let's compare the desired database model and our database model, say what is the difference. First, we already noticed that the category ID type is different. In the desired database model, the category ID is 10 integers. If you recall, the tutorial will use short as the ID for you to find a selected category. So the shorter type corresponding to the tiny integer. However, since we use our database, so the tutorials short found by the short type don't work. We have to change to integer since we use integer type for the ID. Uh, also, the product need to refer to the category that it belongs to. So the product has a field called category ID should exactly uh, match the ID of the category that it belongs to. So this category ID also integer. Just like here, this category dash uh, uh, underscore ID is tiny integer. That's the first thing we need to change. Second is the table name. For this table, we still call it a custom order has product. However, in the desired data model, it called ordered product. So we need to change this. Let us see this MVC model. You can see why we need to change. Okay? We use our database. Then if we try to use provided snapshot, their entity class is, uh, are generated from their database. So if our database not match their database, then this entity class will not be able to interact with our database. So in order to use snapshot provided by the Afobobin application tutorial, we must provide the same database. How to do that? We simply close NetBeans IDE, modify the data model, our data model to match the desired data model, then we forward the engineer to database, then open the snapshot again. Since we just changed the database, database name not changed. So whatever the configuration of the snapshot, which is a, a connect a pool data source, all this thing preset up were not affected. At most, we just need to refresh those uh, data connection. If we want to use our own version, then it's a little bit more complicated. First, we need to delete the entity and the session packages from the application, then refactor the application, save and exit, modify the data model to match the desired data model, then reforward the engineer to the database if we didn't do that yet. Then we open application and rebuild the entity and the session package from the F4 Bobin database. We need to do so because our original, our own version, the older entity and the session package is built from our database version. So if we change our database, of course, we need to rebuild this entity package and the session package. Okay, let's open a snapshot. Let us open Slapshot uh, 4 first. If you try to run Slapshot 4, what do you think? Let us say it's build database process. We need to be a little bit more patient to wait for it to deploy or it give us error. What do you think? We 
just need a wait. Okay, it seems like everything worked very well. See, nothing wrong. Why? Okay, let look at let us look at his source package. First, look at his entity and the session. You see, he has different name from our database. Like ours is custom order has product. He has ordered the product, and uh, the customer order for, for cat we have customer order has a product for cat this is order the product for cat okay now and here he use uh, category category for cat dot fund short now since his category for cat java his uh, this corresponding to the category. In his category, if you pay attention to his ID, is short. So you find a short, find by use, give him a short, that is fine. Now, then why this give him a short work? If you look at our uh, code, there is you first request to get a query string. This query string is the string you are touch when uh, is a number you are touch to the category question mark that number. Then that number will convert to a string. Once that number comes to a string, since that's that number only could be one, two, three, it's a very small number, then this string can be able to pass to short. That's no problem. Then you find a short. Now, if you recall, in our case, we use find, we have to use find the energy data pass int category ID. Why? Because our category facet session is built from our category in TD class. In our category in TD class, that ID is an integer because our database, we build that category table, the ID is integer, not a tiny integer. That's why our category data Java, his ID data type is an integer. So then category for cat data fund method, corresponding argument you need to give, should give him an integer. Now you give him a short, that's why it doesn't work. Here, since himself did a short, so you give him a short, it works. Okay? Then, when he try to find this short, he will convert back this short, of course, to energy numbers. You use MySQL command to search for the table. That's why he still can find all those categories. That's no problem. Now, this still works is because he never used the customer order, cust, uh, order the product for cat. He never used. So in order to demonstrate that our database will not work with his tutorial in the future, one way, I, one thing I can do is let me close this one. Then let me open his complete version. In the complete version, you have to display whatever in the uh, sh uh, you have, have have to give customer order so you have have uh, order the product now ours is called down the table is customer order has product and his snapshot will use the uh, build from the order the product those two will not match so if we run those one you will have trouble okay Let us uh, go to the category so far, we're okay, because nothing we really use. Now we proceed to check out. 
if you use name, mark bone, email mb, then phone, address main, then credit card number, Now, if you try to submit a purchase, this is invalid. Uh, my mistake. Proceed to check out. Uh, Mark Bone, email, MB, phone, address man. submit credit card number is not a valid we try to make up valid credit card number oh an internal error oops now why because this time we try to build an ordered product table in that case we will use those class which are the session we will use all the product for CAD but in our database table we do not have all the product we only have a customer order has product now if you say the table at full being that all the product doesn't exist okay so now we know if you want to use his snapshot you have to modify your database to exactly match his okay according to what i said you first will close the letter beans ide then you will modify the data model after you now you modify the data model, you will make it exactly look like his. So I want to change this one to tiny energy. Okay? Because the category ID is tiny energy. Of course, in this case, the category ID here, you have to change it to tiny integer. Have to change here. Then this table, I have to change call ordered product. Okay. Then his indices changed. One indices is ordered product. Product. Another is ordered product. Customer or customer order. Okay. Okay, now then I also want to change it to the foreign key. I have uh, two foreign keys, right? One is order the product, customer order. Okay, let us change order the product. product customer order then I want to order the product product okay after I change this then I will go to forward engineering then just like what we did before okay continue continue then continue okay now everything finish we close it after we close it of course we know we need 
still open our ladder beans project then I will go to services because this time I will build make sure this is connected then if you look at my affordable bean tables so I first need a check view that of my category table now if you want to see the output I need to see the output window which is command for oh, this is output right okay yeah here I'm sorry so I ask you now you see you select the stuff from category your category is empty we know what to do we have to go to our tutorial press that be in e-commerce tutorial we need to go to design data model press copy his command to paste here because we really need a oh no it's not here it's not, not this section it's a connect application to the database section I'm sorry now in this section I need to copy these commands then I go here paste then I run okay now click close the output then I click select start from category then if you run you say now the four category go back okay now we do here I want to insert the product to the table copy and uh, paste this command I execute all success zero errors happen then I erase all this command I want to select uh, star from uh, the select star from the product tip then I run then if you look at the result all the product is here okay now what I'm going to do I ba basically I probably just refresh everything for example my server oh, my server not connected let me try try to deploy okay you can uh, right click on your project node oh sorry project node then you choose deploy to the server so I just feel interest if my server is opened. No, server still not yet. We wait. Until this triangle become uh, green. Yeah. Now I have my server. Okay, deploy now. Let's run the project. Oh, still deploy, right? run deploy okay okay let's run the project okay the following arrow oaks the connection refused okay so in that case one thing I can do I refresh the resource okay I refresh the resource then I try again
Okay, now I continue to test this. Then I should uh, go to add it to the cart, add it to the cart, add it to the cart, proceed to checkout. Then type the same guy, save some time. Phone number, those are all makeup. If happy match your information, please forgive. Let's try to make some. Have to match some, right? <laughs> I I I should I should uh, make up some bit uh valid the credit card first before I try this. Uh, save some time. Oh, okay, it's okay. Let's see how many digits. The credit card number must have some kind of formula here. So let's submit. Yeah, now you see all the problem fixed. Okay. So we fixed our database. So in the future, we can use his tutorial without worry. Okay, use his tutorial snapshot. Now, how about a student say, I want to use mine, myself, then how do we fix? Let, let us open ours. We have so far called a football bean, I believe that's what I have now. Okay, now if you try to run our project, Something probably still okay or not. Let us try. Okay, since already broken, right? Our since broken is because so far we still can fix it by just a, let's see uh, here. Ours is short. Now let us change it to. Is this ours? Ours is supposed to be changed to integer. Okay. Well, oh yeah. Since I already fixed the database, right? Let me refresh. Refresh the resource. Refresh the resource first. Okay, so it's the first step. Then, let me make sure I open the project is the one I want to open. Close the project first. I want to open, well, I football been before manage session. Let us do this one, okay? Manage session is our next task. Yeah, everything is fine. Okay, let us use this one. Okay, but again, if I try to refresh the resource, see if everything is still fine. Also, I double check this ID. Now it's tiny integer, right? Okay, so let's rerun again. Yeah. It seems everything is still fine, but we know soon or later it will not be fine because our entity class will not match because we have customer order has product, but in the database is called ordered product. So what I'm going to do in order to be able to use this in the future when we reach to this point. So what I'm going to do, I did a delete all those sessions, safely delete, then I choose refactory. We 
we don't care just delete that delete this entity class the safely delete the cho choose refactory okay now after that I will do the add new persistence entity class from the database then next now we have custom order order the product we add all then click on next a package you want to be in TT. okay click on next then finish now I continue Mac persistent this time I want the session bin for utility class next I select all next I want to make sure my package is in session okay then click on finish okay then I still go back to here now I want to make sure it's pass short because everything uh, that's a tiny energy right okay now let's run the project yeah now we got it exactly as the tutorial has so we fixed our database okay